There are murky, hidden depths to bank results. But at Barclays, what's clear is that bonuses and incentives paid to its bankers have risen by 10% to almost £2.5 billion, while profits fell last year by almost a third. Now, what many people don't understand is how profits can fall, but bonuses can rise. Can you explain why that happens? One of the things that we do when we look at bonuses is we have to be competitive on pay and we have to pay for performance. We operate in many countries around the world, as I like to say, from Singapore to San Francisco, and we compete for talent in global markets. A pretty picture, not according to a business leader. Any business that pays out three times as much to its managers as it does to all its owners, that's you and me through our pension funds, uh, is doing something profoundly wrong. And shareholders, the investment companies who invest our pensions, ought to be up in arms about it. Anthony Jenkins, Barclays' chief executive, has put these slogans all over Barclays. Respect, integrity, service, excellence, stewardship. They are supposed to demonstrate the way that the bank's values and culture are changing. As it happens, the first letter spells rises. Now, does that mean Barclays rises or pay rises? Does it damage the reputation of the retail bank and the commercial bank, this furore about bonuses, year after grinding year? We don't think that investment banking per se damages the reputation of Barclays. We do measure this. What enhances or can potentially damage is the way we do business. It's what we do that matters. So if we do business in the right way, in retail banking, in investment banking, in credit cards, and corporate banking, and so on, then our reputation will improve, and it has been improving. Now, this wily former head of the CBI has been asked by the big banks to help them mend their reputations by creating a body to set higher standards of behaviour for them. Three things are happening. One is there's new regulation. Two is there's new kind of bank leadership. Those are the critical things. But the third thing that is needed is an industry-wide approach to raising the game. One bank can't do it by itself. Barclays, global and also local. In Scotland, for example. Scotland, independence, good for the UK, bad for the UK? Well, that's a matter for the Scottish people to decide. Um, we think that we can make it work either way as a bank. Barclays, when bonuses don't fall with profits, can it be properly respected again? Robert Peston, BBC News.